The Getaway Black Monday. Uh, a sequel to the original Getaway that unfortunately kind of devotes itself to a lot of the same flawed concepts of its predecessor. In some ways it might as well be the same game, just with a new story. There are some fixes here for problems with the original game, but a lot of those are very superficial. There are a lot of holdover problems here, as well as a, a bunch of new ones that weren't a problem in the original game. Interestingly enough, Black Monday, uh, despite being billed as a proper sequel, is not really tied into the original Getaway storyline in any real ma major fashion. There are three main players in this game, none of which appeared in the original game. Uh, there's Ben Mitchell, who is a sort of tough-as-nails, gruff, angry cop. There's also Eddie O'Connor, a former boxer who's also so worked as a hired thug and uh, a thief. And then there's this young girl named Sam, who's also a thief and is part of uh, Eddie's crew. The overall story of the game isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to figure out. Uh, you start out playing the game as Mitchell and go through the first few chapters as him. You're sort of investigating this group of Latvian mobsters in the London underworld. Yes, that's Latvian, not Russian, because Russian's not trendy anymore. Latvia, that's, that's where the real underworld crime is now. You're also involved in investigating the kidnapping of a prominent reporter and just kind of going through the usual crime story stuff. Then the game kind of abruptly shifts over to Eddie, and you're involved in this sort of major heist uh, with a crew of misfits from his local boxing gym. Sam is sort of a part of this crew, and that's kind of where she gets into the whole picture. The basic stories for each character kind of make sense. You, know, you can kind of see where they're going, where everything is happening, and it all, it all works. Some of the background stuff, though, doesn't really fill in very well. A lot of the stuff with the Latvian gang and the high stuff, it, just, it never really comes uh, fully together in any real cohesive fashion. The main problem is just that the narrative doesn't really ever give you a clear picture of the whole story, and because the dialogue is so uh, geared towards the, the very authentic Londoner dialogue, it doesn't all make a ton of sense. While the voice acting and the story are mostly very enjoyable, the gameplay in Black Monday is not so much. Each of the three characters in the game sort of has their own distinct style of gameplay, though none of them really kind of mesh together in any really particularly well, good way. Mitchell's sections kind of just sort of play out as these very basic third-person shooter stuff. Uh, the one unique thing is that you can kind of arrest guys as you come across them just by pressing a button. But that's also kind of silly because all you have to do is get near a guy and press the button and you arrest him automatically. Even if he's like shooting you in the face at the time, he will just stop that and stop putting up a fight. Mitch also just isn't a very interesting character. He's just kind of gruff and angry all the time. There's no, there's no real sympathy for him. Eddie, on the other hand, is a far more interesting character, and his sections actually is where the game kind of picks up a little bit. There's more variety to his, to, his, uh, to his gameplay. He can pick up more weapons, kind of picks up a lot of guns just sort of off the ground, so you'll see him double fisting a lot of Uzis and you know, machine guns and things like that. Plus he can use blunt objects like bats, and because he's a boxer, he can also kind of get into fisticuffs with any thug that comes along. Well, Eddie's sections are fine, there is one major fault with Eddie's story, and that is with the Sam missions. Sam is an entirely stealth-based character, and the stealth missions are god-awful. Sam has absolutely no attacks whatsoever, so all you're doing is sneaking around buildings, trying to avoid guards, and it just doesn't work very well because there's nothing to do. All you do is just kind of walking around. You know, you get caught, you're dead, that's it. That is, unless, of course, you find uh, ways to exploit the enemy AI, which you can actually do. In the uh, unlikely event that you do get caught, uh, you can just find little hiding spots around. Even though, even if they're, if they're in plain view of the guards that are shooting at you, if you get behind one of these spots, they'll just lose sight of you. There are also all these non-enemy NPCs that are just kind of standing around, and if, you, if they catch wind of you, then they'll just run shrieking away like you're some kind of goblin coming out of the dark, even though you're just this 19-year-old girl in a baseball tee just kind of sneaking around. With all that said, there are a few things in Black Monday that are improved compared with the last game. Namely, the driving portions of the game are far less frustrating than were in the original Getaway, thanks to a sped-up traffic flow that doesn't really prevent you from completing missions just because you can't get around cars anymore. Cars can take a whole lot more damage than before, so you're not just going to wreck after getting hit a couple of times. And thankfully, this time the turn signals don't get broken while you're playing. Unfortunately, there is also less driving in the game overall. The, the driving missions are far less the focus here. There's a lot more of the third-person action stuff. Overall, Black Monday is a far less frustrating game than its predecessor, but it's also a much shorter one because of it. You can kind of blow through the whole thing in about nine hours, and there's really not a whole lot of reason to kind of stick around in the game, kind of play it over again, except for one alternate ending you can get if you make this sort of moral choice uh, at, at a branching point in the storyline that you may not even be able to quite figure out is there, because it's not real obvious. 
You also won't have a whole lot of desire to kind of go through the city and just kind of drive around and explore stuff because it's just kind of the same thing as was in the last game. It, the graphics engine looks a little archaic at this point. Uh, the textures are kind of muddy and nasty. There's not a lot of uh, traffic going on in the background, but overall it looks okay. The best part of the visuals though are the cutscenes, which are incredibly well directed, uh, if not brilliantly rendered. Unfortunately, the CG stuff is just doesn't look as nice because the graphics, again, are just a little on the muddy and kind of dark and not real that great looking side of things. When all is said and done, Black Monday is just not really that great of a game. It's a lot like its predecessor in that it's kind of a love it, hate it situation, though this one definitely falls more towards the hate it side of things because it just rehashes a lot of the same stuff from the first game, fixes a few superficial things, adds more problems to the mix, and just doesn't come together as a particularly enthralling product. There are times when you'll like the story a whole lot, and the dialogue and acting is brilliant, but that is not enough to make it a recommendable play, unfortunately.